chords in more than one way. Yeah, exactly. You know, so this could be G7 with F in the bass. And somebody says, oh, I know the mode for that. It's G, Mixolydian. Thank you. You know, and you get a little bluebird on your paper, you know. But that's one way to look at it. The other way is to say, oh, it's, if it's G7, then it's just G7. It could be this. I mean, that's that's approaching it more from a, a, a traditional point of view. That's saying, oh, this is not a triad over a bass line. This is just G7. I'll just play some blues on it. You could do it that way. That's totally legit. That's just another way to look at it. And that's what I like about playing this kind of music, is you can look at things from different ways, and you can bring in different influences. There's no one way to do this music. So I guess that's what I was telling, telling you in the beginning of this little rap or whatever it was. There's no one way to do this. But I think a good part of your practicing, or a certain part each day or during the week, could be improvisation equals composition. Just if you thought about it like that, you might write a tune. You might write four bars. That's a lot. Those four bars, could, you could learn a lot just writing four bars of music, more than you could you just try to hammer out a bunch of predetermined licks you'd worked on. You'd learn more about what you're about in relationship to music, not what somebody else did. It's important to analyze and scrutinize and, and do record transcriptions, but it's also very important to spend some time with yourself and find out what you're about, what it is you want to play, what do you hear. That's why playing rubato, like we did on some of these changes when John was comping for me, I believe that that's a really great way to play because it's slowing down the whole process. You're not in a hurry. Let's, you know, let's live with these sounds for a while and see what we can learn from the music instead of trying to always go into a musical situation ready to impose some idea on it. Be open to letting the music teach you a lot of things. And that's what composition does. It teaches you, or it does for me anyway. Anyway, now I think we, we talked a little bit about composition, at least about this song, so now it would be nice to, to hear a complete performance. So now we'd like to play Ralph's Piano Waltz.
pretty much covers a lot of the things I wanted to get to in this tape. Okay. Talked about intervals, talked about uh, breaking up sounds and harmonies, scales, whatever you wish to call it, into, into smaller groups like triads, note groups, talking about playing um, two notes per measure, concentrating on playing good notes, good rhythm, four beats to the bar, melodic bass line approach, again, good notes, good rhythm. 